this is where the fun begins what's going on guys unofficial star wars here hope you're all doing well and in this video we're going to be talking about the mandalorian season three as director and star carl weathers as grief karga has teased some more action in his upcoming mandalorian episodes so without further ado we're gonna hop right on into it in this video we're going to be taking a read from comic book i'm gonna have their full article linked down in the description down below in case you guys were interested and wanted to take a look at that yourselves as it reads star wars the mandalorian star teases more action in his season Season episode one of the standout episodes of season two of the mandalorian among star wars fans was the siege which was directed by grief karga actor carl weathers with weathers himself recently teasing that the episode he directed of the mandalorian season three is even more explosive than his previous effort given how intense the siege was between the gunfights and the intense speeder chase for carl weathers himself to claim that it is seemingly taking more action to a higher level fans will surely be even more excited about what season 3 has in store for its audiences. The Mandalorian season 3 is expected to be debuting on Disney Plus in February of 2023. This was confirmed and announced by Disney themselves. In a full quote of what Carl Weathers himself has to say, in quote, oh, there was a bit more action, I think, in this one, Weathers shared with Empire, while also pointing out the upcoming episode is a little different to The Siege, the one that he previously directed, because a lot of it had a lot more to scope. But this one one also had many, many different kinds of stories within the story, and that's really nice, ending the quote there. For one thing, I just need to point out, I think, how cool it is that he's kind of teasing at the idea of that this isn't merely just about singularly the Mandalorian at this point anymore. There's tons of other characters that have now been introduced into the Mandoverse here with other shows, such as the Book of Boa Fett, Ahsoka Tano, Rangers of the New Republic, and now Star Wars Skeleton Crew. This here is an expanding universe and adding on more and more characters and it's something very interesting to see how Lucasfilm and Disney is going to be able to juggle essentially all of these different stories here without it kind of oversaturating all of the other stories here while also not completely stealing the show or the spotlight from the Mandalorian himself as well. The article continues to go on to talk about whether it debuted as Grief Karga in season one of the Mandalorian while season two allowed him to take a step behind the camera as well. An established performer thanks to years of compelling roles Carl Weathers expressed his excitement of helming adventures for the galaxy far, far away, which allowed him to explore a variety of tones and genres within one chapter. And the full quote of what he has to say, I love directing. It's my passion. The show gives you so much opportunity to deal with all of these different characters, Weathers expressed. Even though there are different stories, it's not like a typical episodic television. It's not a whodunit type of thing. It's not a dark comedy. It's not a procedural. It's so many different things and it's action adventure on top of that. As a director, you get a chance to exercise your talent and also your ability to deliver in all of those different areas, ending the quote right there. And of course, it's so cool once again to have a grief karga actor carl weathers back behind the camera here as well with directing and i think it goes for a lot of star wars fans that they really liked his work here especially behind the camera there when it came to directing some of the episodes of the mandalorian and what he was capable with his his whole camera movements and everything of such with like with that his cinematography and all that when it comes to storytelling components of actual the mandalorian here and the mandalverse here it doesn't really come necessarily to the directors here so i can't completely credit to them it really mostly does come from Dave Filoni and John Favreau, although the directors, although normally will add on their own kind of little, I guess, spin on some of their things here and some of the episodes that they are directing for Star Wars, The Mandalorian, or maybe for the Book of Boba Fett as well. As the article continues to talk about, the first teaser of season three of The Mandalorian series featured Grief Karga wearing a much more royal ensemble, with the actor noting how the change in the wardrobe showcased how the character himself has grown over the years, ever since his character being introduced back in 2019 of the mandalorian season one in the full quote of what he has to say it really speaks to how he is matricled and how he has grown to in a satire and ambition weathers detailed of his wardrobe and obviously on screen it looks fantastic it adds
meant so much, ending the quote right there. I just have to say, it's very interesting how he's acknowledging the exclusive teaser and footage of The Mandalorian Season 3 that was shown exclusively back in May at Star Wars Celebration. It hasn't officially been released here online, so him talking about that, acknowledging it, has to tell us something furthermore about a potential teaser trailer being soon on the way, being officially revealed here online for all of us to enjoy and for all of us to see here. Even if it's less than a minute, maybe they'll take the actual footage that was shown at Star Wars Celebration and slice it down just a little bit more to make it shorter and sweeter here and not really give us a full-on look here to not really take away from the Cassian Andor series that is coming out here with a two-episode premiere here at the end of August 31st. When it comes to talking about the trailer and the teaser trailer for when we can expect to see that, I'm going to talk about this more in depth in a future separate video here on the channel, so if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join us here today. Over to give you guys a little bit of an insight of what I believe is going to happen when it comes to the teaser trailer, and I know I'm kind of getting off topic here and spurring off of all the way into nearly a different subject here about the teaser for The Mandalorian Season 3. However, I believe that we're going to be seeing it anywhere in November or December, and that's going to be for the teaser, and the actual trailer itself will be probably coming out in January. This is a common trend that we've seen with Disney Plus shows, is that they put out the full official trailer here for these shows and projects here, especially for Disney Plus, about a month before it's going to premiere on Disney Plus. That being said, for the Andor show, we're going to get our last and official trailer here there very, very soon here in the next coming days. It's something we'll be talking about and covering here on the channel as well. And for the teaser trailer of The Mandalorian, I believe that we could see that anywhere in the middle of November after the whole Andor show has wrapped up from there and is finished streaming on Disney Plus. I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you guys think here about Carl Weathers talking about The Mandalorian? Some action sequences here as well, kind of hyping it up here, of course, is a big thing that we've seen Carl Weathers do all the time here when it comes to The Mandalorian here. And as a Star Wars fan, and probably for yourselves as well, I'm all for it. I love to hear every little bit of detail and every little thing that we can hear here about The Mandalorian Season 3. I'm all for it, and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait for The Mandalorian Season 3. That's why I want to know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. As I had mentioned, what do you think we're going to be seeing here in The Mandalorian Season 3? What type of action sequences here as well? Maybe combat type of wise? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as it really does help the channel. And check out Instagram on official Star Wars, more Star Wars related content. Link down in the description down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, may the force be with you. Peace out.